Oh, hi, Katie here. Um, so, um, yeah, so I'm going to do another reaction video. So, I mean, this one is quite an interesting one. It's one actually about me. Um, somebody did a video about me, which was basically trashing me and defaming me and um, transphobically abusing me as well. Um, the person who did this video is um, goes by the name of Feminist, and I use that term advisedly. Claire. And as you'll find out, Claire is not a feminist. Um, she's a transphobic bigot um, and a really nasty one at that because like to defame a trans woman in this way um, actually puts her life at risk. And um, But yeah, so the background to this, myself and a friend um, stickered over some transphobic hate stickers that were in our area. And the um, I posted it on I posted what we'd done on Twitter, as you can see there. And the turf community went ballistic. They um, kind of copied in um, Gwent police and urged them to um, arrest us. They they um, abused us online. They they defamed us. Um, Glenna did a few um, posts about us on uh, on his blog post defaming us and um, they also um, doxed us to our employers as well um, and amongst other things as well which I won't mention um, to respect um, Layla's privacy but they basically they've harassed us for just over a week now and, and um, anyway so this is part of that harassment that we've been um, getting and this um, person here, Feminist Claire, um, she's a gender critical, um, what's it? I won't call her a feminist, uh, even though she calls herself one, you know. But um, yeah, so, so that's in this context. So without further ado, let's have a look and see what Feminist Claire has to say about me. So having dealt with the charming individual we know as Nico Cardiff or Layla Stokes, we are going to come on to his friend, Applecore Katie. Now, Applecore Katie is the little pal in the photographs um, going along with, with Nico to do stickering in Newport because there's this dreadful woman on her mobility scooter going around and putting stickers on, on lampposts. So... So, as part of a background to that, um, a woman was arrested in Newport about a week and a half ago for um, sticking, um, putting transphobic stickers all over the city. And in response, Posey Parker, you know, the mega turf, um, she, um, she came down to Newport to protest outside the police station. And she sort of, and at the stage where I kind of, um, when I, went with Layla and stick it over the transphobic stickers. Um, Posey Parker was talking about stickering the hell out of Newport. So in response, we decided to stick her over all the transphobic hate with some trans positivity stickers. So yeah, anyway, without further ado, let's Apple go called further. Katie has clearly got either Google alerts or is scouring the web okay. for mentions of his name. And... <clears throat> Now, you see, right from the start, um, she is uh, misgendering me and using the wrong pronoun. And that is actually an offence. She's actually, she's, that's actually a hate crime because she has um, reached the Equality Act there. But nobody, nobody does anything about it because the UK is such a transphobic country that um, nobody takes transphobic hate crimes seriously uh, or discrimination against trans people. It's just not taken seriously in this country, hence why we're known as Turf Island. I actually believe it's possible that this individual has some kind of humiliation fetish. <laughs> oh, do you? Well, are you a qualified psychiatrist? Um, have you suddenly become Dr. Freud? I, I seem to recall that um, Sigmund Freud isn't very popular with feminists, so why are you behaving like... Um, some kind of um, <clears throat> person like, you know, I, I, I just, words fail me, you know, words actually fail me, Claire. Because, you know, the stuff <clears throat> they post publicly does invite a certain derogatory uh, comment from... 
No, it doesn't. It doesn't invite a derogatory comment. You saw what I posted publicly there, and I just said I had a Fab Day stickering over transphobic hate stickers, and I put some pictures on there. So that doesn't invite me you to bully me. It doesn't invite me to be sexually assaulted. It doesn't invite me to be physically assaulted. But as far as transphobes are concerned, all the <clears throat> sexual assault and violence that's meted out against trans people uh, is deserved because it was our our fault and so claire is an example of the sort of person who believes this you know that that trans people deserve to be discriminated against deserve to be abused deserve to be discriminated and sort of um <clears throat> shunned by society and kicked out of society you know the audience and um, because I am aware that there are people out there with that fetish, I am not going to um, indulge it by being personally mean. Oh, <clears throat> how very um, gracious of you, you know? I mean, like, you've already been mean in the first sort of <clears throat> few moments of talking about you me you've misgendered me you've um, been ableist you've kind of shamed me because of what you think is a mental health condition i have which actually i don't have that you've excused bullying you know so you need to take a good look at yourself and where you're behaving because i can tell you you are being mean i don't need to do i no you don't because you are being mean katie is claiming that posy parker is guilty of defamation because of whoa so i'm claiming that posy parker is guilty of defamation well just look at the tweet so posy parker retweeted this kelly j keen posy parker for anybody who doesn't know they're both the same person um posy parker is an alias and kelly j keen is a real name but um this person here calling themselves admiral invalidator and <clears throat> he looks quite a threatening sort of man there i don't know whether it is a man or whether it's just some picture that this transphobe is using um they're saying about they're referring to Layla here and they're saying thems so i mean i'm not going to i think they mean that they <clears throat> thems are also friends with someone who has been accused of pedophilia well actually you know <clears throat> that is basically accusing me of pedophilia you know <clears throat> i mean it says katie here is a map you know, they're saying that I'm a map here, you know, so they're retweeting that. And by retweeting that, all of these people are actually defaming me. False accusations of paedophilia. Now, I don't think that what Posey Parker has said is, is a, an allegation of paedophilia. Can't you read for comprehension, Claire? It says on there that they are claiming I'm a map. Um, mine, what they you know they call a minor attracted person a paedophile that's what they're saying on there can you not see that what posy parker has said is that you've made public statements that indicate you are befriending minors on rubbish that this that you see now on the screen is the public statement that the turfs are using to claim that i'm a paedophile and basically what you see here now, right? So this is from my YouTube channel. And um, I did a video a couple of back, back last year, actually, about my anime drawings. And it attracted quite a lot of comments. And um, somebody put a really nice sort of post on there and they subscribed to me. So I subscribed back to them. You know, they put a really nice comment on this and they enjoyed the video, which was this person here, Licorice. And um, I, I just said... Thank you, Abby. That is so very kind of you. Sending you best regards and warm hugs. Kiss, kiss, kiss. So that there is what they're using to claim that I'm a map, to claim that I'm a paedophile, um, which as any reasonable person can see, it, it's all hogwash. And that is literally after digging and digging and digging and digging. That's the only thing they could find to um, try and sort of suggest that I was, you know, a bad person. So, yeah, I mean, it's just pathetic.
social media. The fact that you're befriending minors on social media makes people worried. No, no, it's nothing to do with that. It's the fact that your turfs and you're reaching for something to um, kind of um, throw at me, you know, with regard to um, like an accusation of like being a predator or a paedophile. You're looking for something, you're reaching so hard and that is all you could find. And that's quite pathetic, really, Claire. It's quite pathetic that you're saying that. I mean, you, you, you're, <clears throat> you're a bully and you're all bullies. And any reasonable person who can see what you're doing here, you know, will, will conclude that you're a bully. And this is dangerous because it's the sort of thing that can get trans women like me killed. Because that's not okay. That's not okay. No, you're not okay. What you're doing is not okay. It really isn't. And I reported your, <clears throat> I reported this video to um, YouTube and they haven't taken it down yet. I hope they do take it down. And lots of people reported this video to YouTube as well because I made all my friends aware of it on social media. Um, so what you're doing is not okay. Now, with Layla, the whole thing could be complete fantasy because this is a person who's dissociated. dissociated. They claim they haven't got a clue what's going on. <clears throat> you know, that could be true. I mean, you know, these things are, are, are very difficult to unpick. Again, the um, pseudo psychology. I mean, what the hell does she know about psychology? Nothing apart from knowing about how to hurt people mentally and to wind them up. So, yeah, like a pretty sadistic person, I would say she is. Whereas Katie has got 11 year olds saying, <laughs> Oh, thanks for subscribing to me <laughs> on social media. You're, I'm 11 and I've got no content and yet you're subscribing to me. Thank you. Why, why are you subscribing to an 11 year old who's not gender? I'm subscribing to an 11 year old because they're a person who subscribed to me and I subscribe back to people who subscribe to me. That's all. There's nothing else to it. And, like, there is absolutely zero evidence there that I'm doing anything wrong. All I'm being, doing is being polite. I'm saying, thank you, Abby. That is so very kind of you. Sending you best regards and warm hugs. Kiss, kiss, kiss. I mean, <clears throat> this person here obviously liked my video, and I hope it will inspire her to go on and draw and do art and, and to, to learn stuff like that, you know. And that's what the only interaction I had with Eclair. So you are reaching, and the fact is, people like you, TERFs like you, transphobes, right, like you, chromosome crusaders, as some people call you, people like you, right, uh, always doing this to trans people. You, are, you see a trans person and you see a predator, you know, because you're a bigot, because you're a transphobic bigot at the end of the day. You're not a feminist, you're a bigot. Generating any content, is it just a way of forming some form of communication channel with that person? Maybe? No. No, because I haven't communicated beyond that. I haven't. And, there, you know, there is no evidence there and you are just making all of this up right you were just kind of it's a nudge nudge wink wink you know that trans woman sort of um <clears throat> said um warm hugs kiss 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 to a um <clears throat> to somebody who says that they're 11 on there uh, and um <clears throat> that that is all anybody seeing that would say well that's n no evidence of anybody being a paedophile so you you are just typical of TERFs. You are trans you, you are paranoid, you're obsessed, you stalk trans people all the time as I found the past like week or so where my friends and I have been stalked by people like you. You know, you, you are the creepy ones. You are the ones who are trying to um, harm trans children by taking away their medical care and by denying them um, you know, saying that they're not legitimate. You're you're the one trying to erase trans people. I mean, if you go around doing things like that, Katie, people are going to make the inference that you should not be allowed near children because you can't be allowed near children if you're not trustworthy. You're not trustworthy because I wouldn't allow you near trans children. No way. Because you, you would basically, um, well, 
you'll be abusive towards them because you you will be a transphobic bigot basically and you 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 would harm them that way emotionally by trying to tell them that they weren't trans i know you know that's from what you're saying i would not let you anywhere near transgender children claire really i wouldn't you're the problem here not me and i mean you know <clears throat> this is why it's difficult to safeguard children online because of people like you who would be no because of people like you i mean supposing some trans kid finds your videos you know and they're struggling and they're trying to understand themselves and you're telling them that they're wrong you're telling them that they're evil you know and that they they should try and um, live with being you know going through the wrong puberty and, and trying to be the sex that they were assigned at birth when they so obviously can't be that and then at the end you know like a couple of decades later they find that their life is ruined then because they weren't able to transition when they were younger like me you know, that's, you're the one causing harm to children by your bigoted um, ideology and by pushing it on everybody, you know. You're, you're the one who, who's conducted in a hate campaign against trans people to make trans people go into spaces where we will be put at risk to force trans people into male spaces where we're going to get raped and attacked, including trans children. Who are going to go into like a boy's? You you would want a, a trans girl to use a boy's toilets, for instance, or sh or share showers and and changing rooms with boys, and they which will put them at severe risk of, of um, sexual assault. You know, you're the one who's the problem. You're the one who's a danger to children, not me. And the same with every other turf as well. You know, and so you need to you need to realize that and you probably won't realize it because you're too far gone you're too brainwashed by the likes of posey parker and for some reason people like you are so consumed with hate maybe because of something like something that happened in your life and you've decided to blame it all on trans people you're fixating on trans people so like if you're going to psychoanalyze me i can psychoanalyze you too claire you know i can see that there is something there, like most normal people, most ordinary, if I'm saying normal people, that's like, we're not normal, we're all individuals, but most reasonable people don't, aren't obsessed with hate on trans people, they're not, they aren't accept, obsessed with hating on trans people, they're not, Claire, you know, you're the one who's odd here, not me, seriously, and there's nothing here, there's nothing here in this interaction, right, to say that um, I'm doing any harm here, and, but now, you see, there's somebody comes in now, I don't know who it is, some kind of transfo comes here saying, gross, why are you sub to an 11 year old? That's a red flag if ever I've seen one. And that, you know, I mean, like foul language here, you know, well, I mean, foul language, but do you know what I mean? Like, they, they don't care if they swear in front of kids and stuff. And like, <clears throat> this is just obviously somebody who is trying to set me up to make me, you know, look, make it look as if, I'm a trans woman and I'm a predator and they've completely failed because that is literally the only interaction I had with that person and you can see that. So why are you making things up, Claire? Why are you making things up? Because you're a transphobic bigot and you're not a feminist. You'll never be a feminist. You're, you're, it's not that trans women aren't real women. It's you're, that you're not a real feminist, Claire, and you make a mockery of feminism, you know, as we will see as we put, go further on this video you will see how claire right how claire is not a feminist and there are clues here in this video friending them inappropriately there is no reason for any adult to befriend a minor on social media just don't do it just but i'm not befriending a minor on social media but i'm encouraging like here, I'm just being nice to the person and my video was meant to encourage people of all ages, you know, to pursue art and to, you know, I was just trying to sort of convey my kind of joy and, and, and happiness at, at drawing, you know, my anime video and stuff. I was just showing pe people pictures of my cartoons and my drawings. I've done like sort of parts of like famous paintings like Hogarth paintings and, and, and that kind of thing and I was that's what I was doing on my video and I mean if you want to see that video you can look it up on my channel you know it's about anime and and draw other drawing as well and I'm just talking about my drawings basically and you know if I inspire a child or anybody of any age that makes me happy 
you know, and I'm not going to turn them away, away and not be ignorant and ignore them, you know, I'm not going to do that, Claire, so, yeah, anyway, let's see what else feminist Claire has to say. Don't do it at all. No, you don't tell me what to do, you really don't, Claire. Anyway, so Katie has also visited my comment section and has left various comments. The community um, treated them with the absolute disinterest they deserve. Now you can see here, right, you can see here what we've had to put up with. So I'm saying, hi Claire, see that your fe you featured the screen chat on my screen cup on my Twitter post because she did another video to start off with about Layla and she featured my Twitter post on there. Just to let you know that over the last few days we have been threatened and defamed relentlessly by these self-styled gender criticals, including them spreading dangerous lies claiming we are paedophiles and rapists. My friend has been stalked by these transphobes, and this is before they started to stalk me, who have even resorted to phoning her <coughs> Oh. <laughs> Oops, where are we going? Yeah, well, she hasn't. You can see come, like some of the stuff, though, here, you know. I mean, they are collaborating, these TERFs, with, with fascists, with actual fascists, you know, like white supremacists, Posey Parker in particular, you know, and they're getting funding from the sort of um, misogynistic, like, Christian right, you know, the Republican Christian evangelicals in America. And that's not feminism, it really isn't, it's just bigotry. Sanctioned, you could even be banned. Um, they are not interested in a, in a good faith discussion, so, you know, withhold it from them. Like I say, some of them ha actually have humiliation fetishes and are looking for you to be mean to them. You know, these people are mad. Claire, do you have a fantasy about this, you know, because actually I'm not in it and I don't want to be in your humiliation fetish fantasy so you know please just stop you know please go away we don't you, you push the the myth that um you know that that we we want to go out with every woman we see and and no you know i'm just not interested claire you know you're just you're just a bigger you have no you know, I thought there when I put that comment on your on your YouTube channel, I thought maybe I could reason with you that you would sort of, you know, I tried to explain to you that this you're involved with a movement here that's involved that's affiliated to fascism and to misogyny and to, but no, you're too far gone for that. You really are, and I think maybe, as I say, I don't know what your political beliefs are, but they're not looking like anything kind of left of liberal, you know? Messed up. They are messed up people. So... Um, <laughs> you talk about messed up people, Claire, honestly. Ridiculous. Grey rock all the way with these what? individuals. Grey rock. But then I see that Katie's had a go at my mate Dave Blencathra. Lord Blencathra to you, Katie. <laughs> Lord Blencathra to me. <laughs> no, he's not Lord Blencathra, he's just a transphobic individual, <laughs> trying to be polite here. Um, I mean, like, it's quite interesting that Claire has got a thing about Lord Blencathra. Um, in, an, uh, in another video, she, like, I guess it's one of her most cherished possessions, she displays a letter that she had from Lord Blencathra on um, House of Lords headed note paper and she's really thrilled with that and she's fawning over it oh you know because lord blencathra is uh in the house of lords here in the uk and he's which is an unelected house of of um people um i don't know you know like foreign countries they probably don't get this and like a lot of us in this country don't get it either but in the uk in our house of parliament we have one House of Parliament is made up of two Houses of Parliament. The one House of Parliament is made up of elected representatives, and the other one is made up of people who aren't elected. So, yeah, go figure. I mean, <laughs> but anyway, you know, the House of Lords, they tend to be quite reactionary, you know, but I mean, Lord Blencathra was one of a number of um, 
kind of aristocracy who are trying to um, curtail trans rights in the UK and have been doing so for, oh, goodness knows, 50, 60 years. This has been a thing where the upper classes in this country are trying to um, curtail trans rights and LGBT rights and stuff in the rights of the majority of people. Because let's not forget they're the privileged 1% of people who um, don't want anybody else to have any power, you know. So, but anyway, um, yeah, I mean, Lord, you know, uh, so she likes Laura Blancathra. But the interesting thing about Laura Blancathra is that as well as being transphobic, he is a misogynist. So um, this is the same Laura Blancathra, as I say here, who um, voted against making misogyny a hate crime. Now, this obviously rattled Claire, hence why she's making this um, really nasty video about me. Because, um, you know, it's obviously kind of got to a bit. But, you know, you have to admit, Claire, that you're not really a feminist. If you support somebody who voted against misogyny, a hate crime, then you're not a feminist in any way, shape or form, you know? I mean, really, I mean, I'm, I'm more of a cis woman than you're a, a feminist, if you think you're a feminist. And I'm not a cis woman, but you're further away from feminist than I am from cis woman, really, Claire, honestly. Um, <laughs> you better not come for Dave. That's all I'm saying. I'm I'm becoming more of a fan of Dave. The Watch out, Dave. More time goes on, and I'm not having it. <laughs> I'm not having that at all. <laughs> um, Claire, what's with that? <laughs> I mean, like she's got this really kind of weird, creepy laugh, you know. And I mean, like, she's calling me creepy, but she comes across as intensely creepy here. You know, I'm sorry, Claire, but you do. You've crossed the line. <laughs> I mean, they both... Jeez. Ran across lines, like, miles down the road. Like, this line is just the latest line, but obviously they've both crossed many lines. In your head, Claire, in your head. So anyway, so the update is there's a protest in Newport on Monday outside the police station. Posey Parker leading the charts. Do get along there if you're within an hour or so's drive. Of which I was livid when they turned up, where they turned up to um, commit hate crimes and nobody's done any, you know, nobody's sort of like said anything about the hate crimes. They're more interested in us stickering over um, lampposts, you know, engaging in what was it? Criminal damage. That's what the people who doxed my employers said. I was engaging in criminal damage. But yeah, anyway, that's going to be an ongoing story, I can tell you. But um, yeah, so yeah, they came to Newport and um, Posey Parker got up there, you know, opposite the police station in the small park opposite and started screaming and shouting and doing the usual kind of um, transphobic kind of Hitler rant, you know. I mean... And then, like, Mr. Menno was there banging a drum, encouraging um, all people, you know, all the um, turfs there to shout, is a man, as, she, as, as he read. I almost misgendered Mr. Mr. Menno then. <laughs> but I do, if somebody misgenders me, I misgender them back, Claire. And um, Claire, see, she, he doesn't understand this. You don't understand this, do you, Claire? I mean, and, and I'm presuming you're a him. You know, there, see, how do you like it? You don't like it very much, do you? Because it's bullying. Malicious misgendering is bullying. And it's done to cis people as well. So don't even try and deny that what you're doing here to me is not bullying, Claire, okay? Anyway, yeah, as I say, Posey Parker was here in Newport and Mr. Menno was there banging a drum, reading out the names of prominent trans women and um, saying... Um, and. and telling that the crowd to shout chant is a man is a man is a man each time you know it's just pathetic really and creepy behavior creepy cultish behavior because the, the turfs are a cult they say transgender is a cult no but it's the turfs who are a cult the transphobes are a cult and then right at the end you know to kind of like prove my point that these are like affiliated to fascists uh, speaker got up and started to talk about a conspiracy controlled by um <clears throat> that was being done by wealthy billionaires who control the pharmaceutical industry so um yeah and like sounded an awful lot like anti-semitic conspiracy theory 
And yeah, and our, our Argus, our, our local um, newspaper, South Wales Argus, they ran a story, they, they kind of like covered this in a live update. They sent out a reporter, right? And the reporter didn't mention the fact that this was a transphobic group once. They, I mean, the reporter basically said, um, oh, these are feminists, they have feminist slogans on their umbrellas, you know, and they're carrying feminist slogans. But all this was going on and none of it was reported, none of the anti-Semitism, none of the uh, transphobia, no nothing was reported on there, you know, in the Argus. It was just completely turf washed. And, um, you know, and like feminist slogans, well, like they were there, they were there carrying placards with this police force is controlled by the transphobe by the transgender lobby. I mean, now how David Icke kind of conspiracy theorist is that, you know? This police force is controlled by the transgender lobby. I mean, that is just really like swivel-eyed, like, oh, <laughs> just words fail me anyway. So what this is what Claire has to say as a conclusion about me and um, Layla and yeah. Anyway, you'll see what she has to say about us, which is pretty disgusting, like her conclusion. If you live in the South Wales area, around Bristol, anywhere like that, please just cross the street if you see these two characters coming anywhere near you. Don't have anything to do with them, don't engage them in conversation, keep your kids tightly held by the hand, and um, yeah, leave them to uh, seek the mental health treatment that they really <laughs> They really do need. So, I mean, like, there's so much bigotry to unpack there. There's the ableism of shaming people for perceived mental health issues, you know. And I mean, I think this person was a psychiatric nurse by profession or worked in a psychiatric hospital. And so I, I can't imagine somebody like, I think it's pretty bad that, somebody like that worked in a psychiatric hospital with that kind of attitude towards people with um, mental health issues or perceived mental health issues you know that ableism you see the um you, you see i mean she's constantly like saying oh you know we're not calling them pedophiles and stuff but she's definitely sort of saying that children have to be safeguarded from us she's saying clutch clutch your children tightly you can see the transphobia, you, you, you know, you, you can see the fact that she's saying isolate these people, don't make them part of society. And that basically is the, um, the, the gender critical turf transphobia credo. They want us to erase us from society. They want us to be completely cut off from mainstream society. They want us to go back in the closet and disappear like we were like 50, 100 years ago, you know. And what Claire is saying here, you know, I mean, you can just see it's all here, basically. It's all here. And I'm actually quite proud of this photo. I'm actually quite proud that I stickered over transphobic stickers in Newport, you know. I mean, Layla and I got a lot of, have had a lot of abuse for it, a lot of harassment. We've been through a lot of pain and upset because of it, because of the um, backlash towards us. But I would do it again. I would do it again any day because I had to do something about this vile, frightful turf that was coming to my town and I felt violated. I felt really violated and my stomach turned over when I saw Posey Parker on a live stream, live streaming herself, spouting all this hatred about trans people and other minorities from, you know, on the streets of Newport or where I've lived all my life, you know, but... <clears throat> Yeah, it was an awful day yesterday, you know, including like um, finding out that um, I'd been doxxed by um, transphobes who, who, who had left awful allegations about me. And, you know, that is still ongoing. I won't say too much about it because obviously it's ongoing. Um, but yeah, but I would do it again. I would do it all again, you know, and it just shows you how bad these transphobic groups are, how, how dangerous they are that they would sort of um, go to these lengths to um, crack down on even a, a small act of resistance, like stickering over their hate in your local area, stickering over their hate that was polluting your area. You know, I mean, it just shows how dangerous these people are. And, you know, they could lead one day to somebody taking their own lives if they haven't 
if that hasn't happened already, or they could it could even lead to a trans person being murdered by a vigilante group who believes all these um, horrible, horrific allegations directed towards um, trans people about paedophilia and stuff like that. Where, you know, I mean, people what people like Claire are doing is extremely, extremely dangerous and. The problem is that social media isn't cracking down hard enough on these people. I mean, it's not a matter of freedom of speech. This this is in, incitement. This is incitement to attack me from Claire. You know, and I think YouTube should do something about this because, you know, I, I mean, I think a lot of these companies are t so big, like Twitter, like YouTube, like Facebook, they're too big to actually crack down and, and enforce their own terms and, and conditions or term, you know sort of like in, with regard to content and bullying and harassment and behavior on the social media platforms that they provide and um, yeah I mean what will it take to make them change maybe a boycott of, of, of um, certain social media platforms but that would be really really difficult to enforce really because I, I don't think really that people it's now such a part of people's lives that they they won't actually um give up their social media it's become like a habit you know it's become like an extension of our own bodies our phones our like keyboards our computer screens they become an extension of our own kind of um you know it's like almost become like another limb you know for us to kind of vent our feelings our frustrations our hopes desires our to you know kind of to interact with other people you know and yeah and so that's all i have to say really i mean let's say i'm proud of this photo i'm glad that we went out and we at least did something you know i mean they still came down the transphobes they still had their say i mean not many people i mean we weren't stopping them on having their say but we just wanted to have our say as well you know and and we wanted to send a message that um transphobia will be challenged and no matter how hard you kick us no matter how powerful you are no matter how many friends you've got in the house of lords in the in in the media in the um government wherever in academia we will still be fighting and we won't go away and we'll never go back in the closet claire we're never going back so you may as well just give up now and get another hobby you know so yeah so anyway that's all i wanted to say really so um if, tell me what you think about this video. Tell me what you think about the way that I was um, treated by Claire in this video, how, how she reacts towards me. Um, I will be very interested to know, you know, and um, please do tell me as well of any abuse that you've had from um, transphobic people, you know, um, or, or indeed any abuse you've had online from bullies, you know, or, or people who try to defame you like this. Um, so, yeah, so... Well, take care, everyone. Thank you very much for watching and subscribing. And I love you all. So, cheerio. Bye.